Good morning, Year 10. I hope that you are well. Um, today is a very important lesson, as you know, it's uh, starting the major project. Um, and I'm really looking forward to getting started that little bit earlier. I think this is one of the uh, advantages of the situation that we find ourselves in, uh, that we can get on with the major project, and I'm sure you guys will really enjoy doing it. Now, in preparation for today's lesson, I have done some work on your individual folders. Okay, so I'm just going to show you an example here um, so that you know where everything is. So if I just go into Alia's folder, for example, um, I've de now created an extra folder here for you all. This is the same for everybody um, called Major Project. Okay, so that is where you're going to store all work relating to the Major Project. Um, inside, then, you can see I've labeled it number one as well. I'm going to come back to why, why number one in a second. Um, then uh, theory, number two, and then thirdly, uh, you have year 10 project work. Now, this basically is just so that everyone's work is consistent. So that's why I've labeled them one, two, three. Uh, the other reason is because these two here, one and two are the most important ones. Uh, obviously, we are now, um, we're now finished our project, so to speak, on the passive amp. You've done as much on that as you can. Obviously, we didn't fully complete it, but that is, uh, you know, out, that was out of our control. Um, but all of your work, if I click in there, for example, into Alia's work, I can see there she's got two folders. One is architecture, the other one's uh, mini passive amp. You'll all have that. Inside the architecture, you have the three phases of the architecture project, so you can reflect on that. And inside the passive amp, you have the passive amp portfolio. So that's all your evidence of project work in year 10. If we go into theory, uh, you'll see this paper one, paper two. Um, now, I've clicked through a few of your folders, and like Alia is the same here. There's nothing in here at the moment. Um, all of the work that we've been doing, we've done a substantial amount of theory work, especially since uh, the start of term two. I should now see evidence of that here. The reason for that is, um, is because I want to see that your theory work is organized. I want to see that you're practicing exam questions I want to see that you're, you've taken each presentation, you're starting to organize those, and you've put those in there. Now, I will share some stuff in here for you as well, um, but I have already shared a lot of stuff on Classroom. Resources you should have made yourself, attempted yourself, they need to go in here now, guys, because when it comes to revision, it's really, really important that you have all of your revision evidenced in these two folders and that you know what's relevant to paper one, what's relevant to paper two, what's likely to come up, that should all be done, okay? So so please, over the next couple of weeks, can you prioritize that? Now, when it comes to the major project itself, I have shared one document with you, okay? And I mentioned this document in your, um, in your project. So what I'm talking about here is, um, is the major project proposal form. If I just click on Alias there just to quickly show you, um, you can see there that it's very simple, okay? Ignore that deadline of the 5th of April because that, that will be Thursday the 9th of April. I should have changed that, but that's fine. You can change that yourself. But all it is is a very simple Google form that I want you to fill in by this time next week with your name, the type of product you're thinking about doing, if it's a combination of one of the topics above, or if it's a uh, different altogether, it doesn't have to be one of these, then that's fine, but state what it is and be able to justify it as a graphic product. That's why we give you the interior, the exterior, the concept, because we are saying to you there basically, these are the type of products uh, that we get you to do on a normal basis, okay? Um, then you have the project situation, uh, which is explaining kind of, you know, what the problem is, um, that it, that exists, how it needs to be solved. Like, you're looking at solving a problem with your product. So, so look into that in a bit more detail. Then you've got the project brief as well. So you see there's an exemplar link there as well. What it is in a nutshell. Now, this can be just a series of bullet points. Remember, this by next week, this just needs to be a draft. I'll go through this with you, but I want you to have a, a decent understanding of what you're thinking about making 
by this time next week why you're thinking about making that as well why that's a passion because remember you're going to spend the best part of a year on this project so you need to it needs to be something that's really going to excite you and motivate you then you need to identify a real client um, and just a very brief overview of who that client can be now it can be a parent it can be a sibling but it has to be a real person and it has to be a relevant client um, I know in this time of social distance and it might be difficult to have face-to-face -face meetings with a client but of course nowadays a lot of the time we will be working just like you would be for a multinational company where you'll be meeting with clients uh, virtually you might have zoom meetings you might have hangouts with them all of that's fine in fact that's really really good to show and then um, you can add in some basic sketches here they can be done on, on, on the software and they can be hand drawn if you wish and remember this is just one page you can expand on this if you wish okay so there's no problem there so I hope that that's helpful that is what I'm looking at there it's a bit of structure to your work and it's also um, getting you started on the major project I for one I'm really excited because this gives us a wonderful opportunity to get ahead and I'm sure that you're going to produce some fantastic work for me okay uh, I will speak to you very soon um, in year 10 and I'll be on hand of course in